Hi everyone! So for the past few months, I've had some chats with several artsy friends and some of you viewers as well regarding Magello. And the reason I've decided to make this video is because people keep telling me Magello Mission Gold watercolors don't granulate. And I always tell them that Magello watercolors do granulate. This applies to specific relevant colors, of course, as with all other watercolor brands. For the most part, I gathered that those of you who got any of the Pure Pigments sets seem to agree with me that Magello watercolors are great and granulate nicely, whereas those that got other Magello Mission Gold watercolor sets weren't as impressed. So here I am to show you all the granulation goodness that Magello has to offer. Well, maybe not all, but at least the ones I have that do granulate. Starting with, you guessed it, Ultramarine Blue PB29. Magello has two versions, the double pigment Ultramarine Deep and the single pigment Ultramarine Light. So the one shown here is the single pigment PB29. I'm actually on my second tube of this color already because apparently I use PB29 in mixes a lot. Then I have here Cobalt Cerulean Blue PB35. This one is Series G, so it is expensive, but I'm not here to talk about price today. I'm here to show you that Magello's watercolors granulate well if you choose the right colors. I mixed this with Quinacridone Magenta, and I just love the color separation here. Their Cobalt Turquoise PB28 also gives a similar result when mixed with the same Quin Magenta. And then we have here Cobalt Green Deep made with PB36, which is one of my favorite colors to mix with Quin Magenta or Quin Rose to get this gorgeous moody violet. You can clearly see the green turquoise in some areas of the swatch. And then we have here Cobalt Yellow made with PY40. I was afraid you wouldn't be able to see the granulation since it's always a bit hard to see yellow, but as you can see, the granulation is absolutely visible on its own as well as in this mix with Thalo Turquoise. So, so beautiful. Moving on to Ultramarine Violet, and this one is their single pigment PV15 called Ultramarine Violet Number no. 2. I don't normally mix a violet and a green, but I wanted to show you clearly, so I chose to mix it with Thalo Green Blue Shade PG7. And again, beautiful color separation right here. Last but not least, Cobalt Black PBK27. Magella doesn't have an Oxide Black PBK11 in their range, but this Cobalt Black is pretty much the same thing. And again, granulation is apparent on its own, and it mixes so, so gorgeous. Now, I'm not here to pit brand loyalties against each other today. I simply just wanted to show you that some of Magello Mission Gold watercolors do granulate and do do so beautifully, just as well as other watercolor brands. Now, I know Magello is an imported product for most of us, so the price isn't cheap cheap, but I'm just saying, if you find Magello watercolors on sale or on clearance, give them a chance, you know? So with that, do let me know down below if I've done them justice here, or do you still need more convincing? Anyway, that's all I have for you today. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to drink lots of water and stay hydrated.